In this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like to stay at Paris, Las Vegas in 2023, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are back in Paris, Las Vegas. We're gonna give you a updated 2023 Paris, Las Vegas resort tour and hotel room tour. And today's gonna be great. We're gonna show you all the new restaurants downstairs. And right now, we're right next to the Eiffel Tower. But I'm gonna show you guys what it's like staying here as a Diamond Caesars Rewards member, which is the third tier. A lot of extra benefits have opened up for me. And I'm telling you, it's great. I have no gripes about it anymore we can check in early for free we could check out late for free another great thing is the room rate so we'll tell you that later on when I give you the room tour but we're here at the fifth floor pool deck checking out the view of the Eiffel Tower and the pool here it's about upper 50s here on March 24th 2023 so it's still a little cold but when the Sun comes out you could probably hop into the pool I think it's a little heated too starting off with the tour here here's Monami Gabi one of my favorite places for ambiance in all of the Las Vegas Strip now they do have have a nice heated patio this time of year the shade is still down here so if you're coming to dine for breakfast around nine o'clock the Sun is not shining down on you here in the patio yet so make sure you check out Monami Gabi I love their andouille sausage eggs Benedict that's one of my favorites little tip on the side of the sports book there is the uber pickup you can go to an exit and go right to the CVS and not have to walk through the front on Las Vegas Strip as much so if you don't know that that side exit that's a lot quicker to get to the CVS if you need to pick up some things over there little update the neighboring hotel horseshoe finally has its signage and all the Bally's signs are going away and the giant screen up front that they've been working on for all these months is finally up as of March 24th 2023 not only do you look up but look down you'll see a Las Vegas star sidewalk here Engelbert Humperdinck please release me let me go and there's a bunch of other stars over here as well. Also, if you look up at the facade above Mon Ami Gabi, it's beautiful. It's like a Parisian building with the Eiffel Tower. We gotta go up there at some point. Last time I gave you a review of Paris, we were still getting out of the pandemic times in March of 2021. So this is definitely a great updated video. There's a few new things within the casino and it looks like all the construction is basically done. Right below one of the legs of the Eiffel Tower is the Arc Bar where you can get your frozen cocktails. And then up there is the Eiffel Tower restaurant and you can actually go up to the top of the Eiffel Tower here. Beautiful view of Bellagio and the Strip up there. So these two restaurants, Alexa's Kitchen Bar. I've heard some okay things about it, but the problem is with Alexa's and Beer Park, which is above it, you do get a beautiful view of the Bellagio Fountains, but I've heard in the past that they have charged a concessions fee, about three and a half percent, and you'll see it in your bill. If you don't notice it, you'll just pay for it, and then next thing you know, you're paying an extra 3.5% that you don't have to pay. And here it is, the famous Norma Heli Don't Do It Corner. You've seen us here on many a live stream, and look, people just be crossing, not paying attention and that's how you get ran over hashtag don't jaywalk and it's right below the Paris balloon sign and if you do go to Paris you will get on a train and you'll see a lot of these hot air balloons going up and down I've seen the hot air balloon on the way to Versailles it's a beautiful scene so there is a way around the CNF fee if you just kindly talk to the waitress or the general manager even though you shouldn't have to talk to them about it they can take it off for you so ask nicely treat people well and and they'll take it out for you even though it's a ripoff in my opinion and also it's not the general manager or the servers fault that that 3.5 percent CNF fee is there so they don't want it there as much as you do and there is a, a nice view of the Arc de Triomphe and unlike the Paris France Arc de Triomphe you can't go up to the top I love going up to the Arc de Triomphe back in uh, 2013 it's a nice view of the Champs-Élysées and you have a huge banner of the Bedford Martha Stewart and Vanderpump Op Paris by Lisa Vanderpump. I believe that's Lisa Vanderpump. Comment below if I'm wrong. So this corner entrance to the casino, right next to Beer Park, this is where you want to exit to go towards Planet Hollywood if you want to grab your Erla sandwich and your cheap eats. Chateau Rooftop is one of their clubs here and they're open from Friday to Saturday so make sure you check them out if you want to go clubbing within Paris. Probably up 
this stairwell right here. I just love how the legs of the Eiffel Tower stick into the casino as well and then all the table games and slot machines are all around it. Here's the Eiffel Tower box office and viewing deck but they don't open till later on in the afternoon and if it's windy sometimes they close down so make sure you check that out and also if you have Caesars Rewards sometimes they have discounts for like five dollars off a ticket to go to the top. Look how busy Mon Ami Gabi is. This is the line just for breakfast. If you want to go here make sure you do reservations about a week ahead of time and you can get yourself a seat and there's a separate line for people with reservations and you get in right when your time allows you to. Right next to one of the Eiffel Tower legs is the sports book and there's also a bar here. This has been under construction for a while and is finally open and even though a little small and quaint it's still a good place to go check out and place your sports bets and SDSU's playing today that's why I'm rocking my Aztecs jersey. Let's go Sweet 16. There's a Carlos Bake Shop and we did try this in my Las Vegas overrated video so make sure you check it out. I had the uh, red velvet and there are plenty of gift shops. There's one by the uh, guest elevators but this Eiffel tour has a ton of Paris garb. I like how when you go up there they have this little pathway that looks like a bridge over the Seine River in Paris. So this is a pathway to take you to the elevator to the top. See there you go there's your hours of operation. Monday to Thursday is 2 to 10 p.m. and Friday to Sunday is 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. and then right in the middle of the casino is this fountain that reminds you of roaming the streets if you've ever been to Paris France. Another one of the celebrity chefs here in Las Vegas Gordon Ramsay has his steak place here Gordon Ramsay steak and it almost reminds you of a little Moulin Rouge looking spot even though there's no windmill you got that red and black reminding you of that and then there's a picture of the famous Ferris wheel they have over there as well as the Eiffel Tower and I don't know what bridge that is comment down below what's that bridge if you vacationers watch my live streams and see me play Wheel of Fortune let me know what you think in the comment section below do you like to see these uh, Wheel of Fortune games being played I also like the name of this champagne slots and this is Cafe Americano. Look at the line to get in for breakfast. It's about 9.30 in the morning. It's always cracking here throughout the day. A nice ambiance over here. And the reason why I get coffee up in my room is because I don't want to fall in lines like this. But on the side, they have a 24-hour bar where you can pick up coffee. And it's right next to the Vanderpump à Paris where they do have pretty good food I've heard and I think this is one of the more beautiful restaurants with an amazing garden ambiance. It's almost like you're in a Paris Versailles garden hanging out there. I should try this place one of these days. It's always cracking here with the chandeliers all over the place here. Beautiful chandeliers guys. Another thing that Paris is famous for is Perfume de Paris. The real Paris is famous for its perfume. And then you also got a place here called Lunette and that's their uh, sunglass store and the Paris theater is here through the Le Toilet area. Right by check-in is Le Element and here's Le Reception and you do have your regular reception over here and this line is always crazy but right now it's empty because it's 9 30 in the morning no one's checking in quite yet but now that I have diamond they have the Le Diamond check-in right here through these two doors and I'm telling you we came in and checked in at 10 a.m. and they were able to get us a room ready now that's subject to availability but if you go through these double doors that's where you check in so once you have diamond you can check in early and check out late with no charge so diamond has been so much more useful here's your uh, brioche by Guy Savoy fine coffees French pastries and sandwiches huge line at 9 30 in the morning right next to the taxi and drop-off area outside by the Arc de Triomphe love this uh, mural right here Le Petite Femme de Paris right next to Le Cabaret Le Cabaret is always a beautiful ambiance. Every time I pass by it and you got this red Moulin Rouge looking stage, it's always cracking here on the weekends and you do have some stand-up tables and some video poker here as well. And just look at the uh, decorations here at Vanderpump à Paris. It's beautiful. It reminds me of walking into one of those uh, restoration hardware stores or the flower section at a Michael's. Tell you what, there's no shortage of cafes here at Paris. There is Café Belle Madeleine and they do have have drip coffee and pastries but look another long line 
at 9.30 in the morning. Tucked in the walkway towards the horseshoe is a quaint little Nobu, and there's a bar as well. And down the way here, you have your Le Journal, where if you see on the Las Vegas Strip, a lot of people walking around with these Paris balloons and these Paris mugs, and they also have the Eiffel Tower. This is also fairly new. This is Bobby's Burgers by Bobby Flay. Ah, man, the rating wasn't that good. And I stayed here for a week at the Horseshoe, and I never tried it because, I don't know, it doesn't look that enticing. And right across from Bobby's Burgers is the Bedford by Martha Stewart. And this place is open around 5 o'clock, but it's been a very popular place to show. I've never done a review on it. Very pricey over here, but maybe one of these days. Comment down below if you want to see me do Martha Stewart or Vanderpump à Paris or even Bobby's Burgers. I may be down to do it one of these days. This area over here used to be the buffet, but now it's no longer. But my favorite part of this area here is my own boulangerie and la creperie. So the crepe place is always having a line, but JJ's boulangerie, I did try this and it was really good. I had the Cobb salad over here a couple weeks ago. And it's right next to La Pizza where I saw they have a breakfast pizza. You also get a couple of uh, stores here, Fine Silverstone and Sea Scent, home of aromatherapy. Here's a picture of the inside and the dueling pianos. This is a really nice, classy place to go have a cocktail or beer and just watch the dueling pianos play and they do take requests there's the pens and the paper you can put it in there and there's their tip jar and then on the other side they do have a cigar lounge it looks like right by the parking garage is the Le Centre de Convention and the NCBC is here right now but earlier in the week they had the adult toy convention here I don't know what it's called but a lot of people here are walking around with bags of lingerie and adult toys if you know what I'm saying here's the famous street suite janitor that you are greeted by when you come from the self parking garage so on this trip in particular we did park we drove from San Diego so now that I have Caesars Diamond which is their third tier I have free parking but for locals it's three hours free for Nevada locals and if you don't have at least a second tier for Caesars which is platinum you only get one hour of free parking so just make sure you know that and also take a picture of the level and section you're at because right now I don't even know what level and section I'm at. I think I do. We'll figure it out when we check out and walk to my car and try to find it. Here's Le Boulevard area. They do have a cellular planet and then an area here called Davidoff where they sell cigars, vapes, and all that stuff. But this is where you start getting into the horseshoe. But we're not gonna go into the horseshoe. You can watch my video on the horseshoe. I just did stay there for a week in early February. But they do have a few more stores here. High tech room with a transformer. You got Viva Vegas. You can get your cheap souvenirs. Well, I don't know how cheap, but it's uh, cheaper than all the other stores around here. See, we're still at Paris. This reminds me of one of the famous department stores up in Paris. You got Barun Cristal, a Missouri men's store, and a Paris line women's store here to end it. And this is the border right here. After this, you're gonna wanna tune in my other video. Welcome to Horseshoe. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what other Vegas hotels you wanna see me cover. You wanna see me do some in San Diego or Hawaii? Let me know as well. So this is on the second floor and this is the chapel. Chapel hours are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday to Saturday. So if you want your dream Paris Vegas wedding, here you go. And then you got your Voy Spa and Salon. I don't know how to say that right, so I probably said that way wrong. Voy? And that's the entrance and they also have some uh, spa gear that you can pick up up front. And you can book your reservation, check out this QR code, click it now. Go up one floor to the Pool à Paris. It's open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., weather permitting, but now that it's middle, end of March, the pools are opening up. If you forgot your swim trunks like I did, they do have a Le Oasis Pool Boutique here, right by the pool entrance. I love this gold frame that you can take a picture of with, but it's kind of dark this time of morning, but you got the Eiffel Tower perfectly framed in the back. A great picture up here in the third floor. This is a beautiful pool on the fifth floor. They have a nice circular shaped pool and it overlooks the Eiffel Tower restaurant. And I think this is like a one fourth version of the Eiffel Tower, I think it is. One fourth or three fourths, I don't know. They do have cabanas with TVs in here and some beach chairs. And I really do like the day bed that they have to offer because they're shade. So during the summer, you can rent these day beds and just lay in the shade and the Vegas heat. And spring is here, guys. You can see the flowers starting to bloom over here. Purple and gold, just like my Lakers. And this is the Le Café du Parc. You can pick up some booze and hang out here. Ooh, truly hard seltzers, count me in. 
Yeah, these day beds are really cool. And you can also get ones that have a rooftop so you don't get burnt by the sun. What's up, man? Hey, I'm a lifeguard at Paris. I want all y'all to know, have a good, good, very good Jaycation. Very good one. <laughs> Mellow to Dawn. Mellow to Dawn. Hey, appreciate it, bro. <laughs> hey, heated pool? Heated pool. Look, okay. heated pool. It gets to like, what, like 70, 70 something. So yeah, you know, come out, y'all. It's a good time. You know, it's a good time. Very good time. Nice so. view of the Eiffel Tower, too. Beautiful view, man. It's like, you know, scared of heights, though. But <laughs> Yeah, the hype. But yeah, most definitely, man. All right, bro. Have a good Appreciate one. Appreciate you. Hey, have a good one, man. All right, guys. So there you go. There's a little tour of the pool area. Really nice lifeguards. Now let's go upstairs. Check out the room. Over by the elevator area, you do have some seats. I like the light blue and gold they have here. They have these seats here so you can wait for other guests that you're staying with that are in other rooms. Very classy looking hallway here. Paris is one of my favorites. Check this out, guys. I'm rocking the Paris PSG pants. Y'all know. Had to represent here. Love the gear. Time for the room tour. I usually come to Vegas about five to six nights when I do all my filming. I definitely will start doing Caesars properties at least once per stay, once per visit, because I do get zero resort fees with my diamond status, which is the third level. So that's another great thing. And you do get better rates. For a Thursday to Friday in the middle of March, March Madness, Sweet 16, SDSU's going to play today. I paid $28 flat $28 to stay here so that is a really good deal and now I have free parking I don't have to pay the extra resort fees that is how Vegas should be I felt good being able to check in at 10 a.m. which is subject to availability but they said they did have a room ready for me and my dad so perfect and I was able to check out today at 12 o'clock before I moved to my next hotel which is Mandalay Bay here in the room we have the two queen beds and I like the Parisian black and cream and gold decorations they have here. The really cool Paris frame here with all the different Paris words like wee oui, wee, oui, bonjour, and all that good stuff. So checking in early, you really don't have a choice but to get whatever room they give you. And the view is okay. I got a view of the new horseshoe, Bally's and Flamingo, but not quite the strip. It works out, you know. I like their uh, red and cream curtain here. There's a giant lamp, and right next to that giant lamp is the air conditioning. I don't know why it's so hard to press those buttons. You press a button once and it doesn't work. But if you keep pressing the button, the temperature goes down or up every like five press. I don't like that they're pressed super hard. That's just how it is. It's not just here in Paris. That's how it is for all air conditioning systems for some reason. This great bench is cool. The education slept on this bed. It was a pretty comfortable bed. They give you one long pillow and two shorter pillows. So three in each place. You have two lamps on each side of the queen beds. And then let's go over to the bed stand. Over here on the bed stand area, you have your lamp. The outlet doesn't work on the lamp. I always have minimal success with the uh, outlets on the lamps. So I usually try to just find the wall outlets and luckily there are two on each side here. So that occasion could use that. I use that. There is a Sony alarm clock here. I think it's just three drawers. Yep. No Bible like uh, the horseshoe provides you. Your remote controls here and you can order Caesars Eats and you have your telephone so you can call down to the front desk. You do have a little desk here to work with. I wish it was a little bit bigger space but you can work here. They do have an Ethernet Wi-Fi cable here. Now just remember in Caesars properties you can only connect two devices per room and after those two devices those are free. It's $14.99 per device per day per additional device. So if you have three devices you're gonna pay an extra $14.99 per day. So don't fall into the trap like me, Brocation, and Dadcation did two years ago. If you want to watch that video, see what happened there. We got charged like 75 bucks and we had no idea that it was because we had so many other devices connected to the Wi-Fi and each device was uh, $14.99. Luckily they took it off so I didn't get a sour taste in my mouth from that. And uh, you have a little drawer here, no stationary. This lamp has a USB charger and you also get, oh, they give you six Caesars Rewards Cups and an ice bucket and a tray. And the ice is just down the hall here. And of course, Adele, Mrs. Rich Paul is here and she's just right down across the street over at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Panasonic TV is okay. One thing Dad Cation didn't like was that they didn't have YouTube. You have three drawers here and then two huge closets but you have two full length mirrors over here as well and then a sun looking mirror right behind the desk here. Over on the left side you're facing you get your luggage rack and iron and ironing board and a few hangers. And then on this side, you have your refrigerator. That's what I love about the Caesars properties versus MGM. You get a refrigerator in most of your rooms. The safe was nice and functioning, perfect safe. And four hangers up here. So 
Thumbs up on the drawer slash entertainment system. Now, the housekeeping service lady was saying, hey, be careful here because kind of dangerous because there is no security going up there. They don't check your key or you can't put your key card to go up the elevator. So she said that she's seen instances of robberies. So make use of that lock and this lock, the double lock, because you never know. And she said sometimes these doors don't shut all the way. So when you open it, and shut it, make sure you tug on it inside and outside to make sure it's locked because that's how people have gotten in on the past with the door kind of being latched open and not, people not noticing. All right, all right, we're here in the bathroom. Bathroom is a decent size. I do love the picture of the miniature Eiffel Tower with a blurred actual Eiffel Tower in the background. And if you've ever been to that area, Trocadero, I believe it is, that is a nice frame. I've seen it here before. I like the red frame they have in front of the one sink. No his and hers sink here in the standard queen bedroom. Uh, all your towels, space towels are down below here extra toilet paper, tissue paper, and your hair dryer. You do get soap and your tissue paper here up top on the counters. Plenty of space to put your toiletries. Uh, you do get a small bathtub here as well. The throne, perfect, perfect height, low enough. I don't like my throne high, I like it low enough. You're meant to squat when you're on the throne, man. And the shower got warm really quickly. You do have two ledges here. They don't give you that community soap that you get in the link over at Resorts World and over at Harrah's. So that's a thumbs up. They have the Jose Iber toiletries that they give you and dedication already packed that up so they don't have it here. Let's see what Dad Kishin thinks about his 2023 stay here at Paris Las Vegas. Alright Dad Kishin, your second time staying here in two years. What do you think of Paris Las Vegas in 2023? Well, Paris is always nice. The room, it's clean. It's not like the one, the first one we went to. Well, this is the third hotel we've been to in the last three days. It got a bit crowded, but the only thing I don't like about it is some hotels don't make uh, YouTube available on their TV. Uh, that's about the only thing I can complain about. So is Paris Las Vegas overrated? No, it's not. Paris France overrated? Yes, it is. <laughs> How about Mon Ami Gabi? The food was, well, it looked like they rushed it. And it, was, it was dry, corned beef was dry. But the ambiance and service? The ambiance is just perfect. I mean, you know, you can sit there and watch people walk around. Like I said, you know, if there's too many people in a restaurant, they kind of rush everything, but it's still good. Gambling, they should have more like- Bargain uh, tables? Bargain tables, five or $10 tables. But that's not gonna happen, you know. They only have $25 tables, blackjack. At night though. At night. They have $10 tables right now. Well, yeah, but you know, who plays it during the day? <laughs> Everybody plays at night. And it's six to five blackjack, unlike in some places in downtown where it's cheaper. Oh yeah, you can go to like uh, El Cortez and you can play for one dollar. How did you like diamond check-in? Diamond check-in was quick. There's no line. The regular check-ins were on the outside. The line was long, so you don't have to wait. Parking here is easy, you know. You don't have to walk too far. And now that I got diamond, it's free. And uh, we've got diamond membership now, so everything is cool. All right, man, one more review. Mandalay Bay, let's go. See you in Mandalay Bay. All right, Jaycationers, so for $28 for Thursday to Friday on March Madness week, I give this place two thumbs up. I like the restaurant options that you have here. We've tried a lot of them downstairs, like Monami Gabi. I didn't really have enough time to do a restaurant video because we've been doing separate videos here. So if you guys wanna see me try those in the future, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want me to tour more hotels in Las Vegas, let me know what you wanna see here in 2023. All right, JK Shitters, make sure you like this video. For 28 bucks, you can't beat Paris Las Vegas. Please subscribe, we're almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're around 85K right now, so less than 40 14, 15,000 to go till I hit my ultimate goal and that silver play button and I really appreciate it and thank you to those who have already subscribed and have been following me for all these months all these years all these days it truly means a lot to have your support so thank you so much for that and check out Las Vegas 777 let's go it's my Facebook page full of Las Vegas lovers and enthusiasts there's 2,000 plus Las Vegas lovers on there talking about tips tricks and news all around Sin City make sure you check that out and it'll keep you up to date about your next trip to Las Vegas and also check out this video of Paris in 2021 we do cover Mon Ami Gabi beer park and it's just a different type of trip so make sure you check that out and just see how it was like two years ago which was an eternity ago all right educationers till the next video in the words of me stay traveling in Las Vegas let's go SDSU Aztecs bye